Hey there YouTube, what's going on? So I have brand new scotch here that I got $20. I got Abby bought it, but it, it, she's not going to drink it, so. Um, it is called Isla Storm. It is an Isla single malt scotch whiskey distilled and bottled in Scotland. So I was curious because it doesn't say where it's distilled and bottled and all that good stuff. And I looked on the internet. It's a secret. Um, there have been a couple rumors that it's a, a, a Bowmore or a Lafroyic, but nobody knows for certain. So, probably to not destroy the reputation of whatever brewery this was. <laughs> so I'm going to pour it into my Capita nosing glass. Now, when I was reading about where it's brewed from, I also read a few reviews, and apparently it's very hit or miss. So if you go out and buy this, and you love it, beware, the next time you go out and buy it, you may hate it. And uh, in fact, if I love this, I might love it, and I might hate it. I'm not sure yet. But the next time I buy it, if I buy it again, it might be a completely different story. Smells good though. Very citrusy. Like I can, I actually, for an Isla, I don't really smell all that much peat. There's a little bit there, but mostly honey. A lot of honey in here. That's what I was. A little bit, a little of citrus and a lot of honey. Wow, it smells very, very honey, honeyrific, honey-ish, much like honey. Do you want me to smell it? Do you want to smell it? You keep looking at me like I need to smell well, it. Well, I was looking at the right for the right word. All right, Abby will now smell it. It doesn't smell like an Isla, does it? It doesn't smell very peaty at all. I know. It's not very much smokiness to it. I know. Do you smell the honey? You yeah. gotta get your nose in there, woman. I am. No, you're not. You're you're doing what the guy said he would kill you for. Yeah, but I'm just trying to get small. I get citrus and honey. Apricot? Apricot, yeah, there's some apricot in there. I smell lots of honey, I'm sorry. Okay, we've wasted enough of your time with the smelling notes. If you want more, you can go online and Google it. Now for the taste. At first, it's pretty, pretty bland. You get a little bit of the, the sweetness in there, <clears throat> and apricot. -y. Oh wow! And then about midway through chewing, there I started tasting the peatiness, and peat all the way down after that, like about halfway through, it's peat all the way down. CJ likes his peat. I'm a little jealous of peat. <laughs> <clears throat> Who is this peat? <laughs> so yeah, at, in the, at the very beginning, it's kind of very generic, just you, you, it tastes like alcohol. Um, a little bit of sweetness, and then about halfway through, and whenever you start swallowing it, you get a lot of peatiness halfway through chewing and then swallowing. All right, now for the completeness sake, I'm gonna add a little bit of steel water here. Some people think it's sacrilege, some people think it helps with a lot of things. It's like, here's a pretty young scotch, I'm assuming, so I'm not sure what this is going to do to it, but we'll find out. Didn't you even tell you it's a year? No. Nope. It could be three years old for all we know. With the water, a little bit more woodiness comes out, but it mostly tastes the same. Kind of just a little, a little bit of sweetness at first. Uh, combined with just tasting like alcohol, leading into 
but a lot of smoky peatiness. You know, I don't think that one of the reasons why they don't say how old is it, it is, and they don't say the bottle it, is because whatever, they just basically sell their off batches. Yeah. It's like, well, th th this batch didn't quite turn out right, so yeah, that's... Here, here you go, Trader Joe's. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We do. That's why they don't say, say how old it is because some other, you know, some batches. Some, some, day, some, some years it might be ten years old. Some years it might be eight years old or five years old or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it might not even all come from the same brewery too. I'm just thinking it could come from several different breweries. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining me on uh, CJ Drink Scotch here on the Cold Rabbit Games channel. <coughs> See you later. Oh, I, I guess I should probably give my final verdict. Isla Storm, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Uh, for 20 bucks, not bad. Um, if it were like a, a 50 or $60 Scotch, I'd be disappointed. But I got it for freaking 20 bucks. What was I expecting? I was actually expecting a little bit, quite a bit worse than what I got. So, there you go. YouTube, you take it easy.